Hello and welcome to today's class. For today, we'll be discussing on how to construct um, a problem under leak mechanism. As you can see the figure at the right hand side of the screen. For more insight about that, that figure, a question is given below to um, explain the figure much more better. As you can see the question um, in front of you. The question says, the figure show diagrammatically a pair of folding doors. Full stop. Plot the locus of P for the full movement of A from D to C. A, B, listen, listen. A, B and um, B, C are 150 centimeter. A, B is 130 Sorry, AP perhaps. AP is 60 centimeter. Scale 1 millimeter to 1 centimeter. So, what I want you to note today is the dimension. We are we told that BC, sorry, AB and BC are 150. AP is 60 centimeter. That's all. So, our first task, question is first. Our first task here is to draw the figure as you can see it. At the right answer of the screen. So my first tax here to draw my figure. My first tax here is to draw horizontal line in this manner. Right? So I'll call here, I'll call this point here, my point D, as you can see, that's the first um this thing that we have in that figure, point D, right? So for we, get, we have point D and point C somewhere here, but B to C is what is about 300. So let me use my T square to measure that. This is 12. Let's assume it's 0. This is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So 30 is at this point. Right, so I'll call this point point T. Point T. This point here is point T. All right. Um, the line was drawn with a center line, that is, long one, short one, long one, short one, short one, short one. As you can see at the right hand side of the screen, I have this. Right. Next up, my next tax now. Is that if you look on the figure A A is a somewhere um here? Of course, what we said from here to here is 300. Of course, A is at the center, which is 150. So I'll measure out 150. Um, this is um one. So one to sixteen is obviously 150. So I have my 150. Right, I have my 150 here. As my point A. Of course, we have D, A, and B. Of course, B is at somewhere up here. Point B is somewhere up here. So to get point B, we just said B, A, A, B, A to B somewhere here, and C to B somewhere here is 150. 150. So measure the half. From here down here is simply the half, 150. So take it here to A, strike an arc in this manner, right? Now, take it to C, ensure that the C arc is very long. See? I took it from here. Let me go in it so that I can see what I'm doing. This for the C. Ensure the C is long in this manner. So, this point here is obviously my what? My point B. Hence, connect A. Connect B to A with a thick line. As shown in the diagram, similarly, um, connect C and um, B with also a thick line as shown in the figure at the right hand side of the screen. Alright, I think we have successfully reproduced all the figure at the right hand side of the screen. But if you observe, there's, um, let me show you, there's a fixed 
it is a symbol that shows that point C is fixed, right? So this man here means that point C is fixed, right? This um, stuff means point C is fixed. Similarly, point D2 is what is fixed, as you can see at the right hand side of the screen. So it shows that point D and point C are both fixed. So I have this. I have this. So what my next tax? My next tax now is that um we have P somewhere here. So A P is given to be what? Um sixty. So I measure sixty with my meter rule. Sixty, right? A P is sixty. From the question so measure 60 out so from here from a to p or per se hp 60 so measure 60 from here down here is 60 so it becomes my p right P point P. Now listen, listen, listen. What will be my next tax? I'm going to um, divide this man here, this 100, into um, a choice of mine. I can divide it into 12, into 10, right? So I would like to divide it into 10 to make my work easier and faster. So if I divide 300 by 10, of course I'll have 30. So each distance here will be 30, 30, 30, till I get to 10, right? So I'll measure out 30 to same time, 30 from here to here is 30. So I'll come to this point D, I'll take it one after the other. So this is point one, point two, three. Four, of course, comes from five, um, six, seven, eight, nine, and finally point ten. Right? So for six point ten. So um, I will number it. This is zero. This is my point one, two, three, four. This is five now. That'll be a five. Right, a five, five, six, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Since I'm having a five, so I'll be having a six, a seven, a eight, a nine, a ten, a four. Sorry, a just put a. I have a four, I have a three, I have, I have a two, I have a one. So these are my a. I need to get my point B is 2. So since here is A5, here becomes P5, and here becomes B5. Right? So I'll do this, what I did here, for every number here. How do I go about it? First tax, first things first, my compass here, I used to measure the same measurement, um, C to A, as I did initially. Right? So I have this, right, I have this C to A, that is A to B, as you can see, so I'll come to A, A4, strike this place here, this arc on this longer one I do it, I did, so I'll call that point, I'll call it point B4, B4, so connect B4 to A4, so connecting B4 to A4, with a faint line this and um, take it back to C because C is a fixed point right is a fixed point I have this right is a fixed point so similarly since I've done that this is my A4 B4 I need to get what P4 so P4 or male 60 so um, from here this is zero sorry this is one so of course one to seven is what 60 
right so i have my p p um six right six six next up i haven't gotten my p5 p6 i need to get p3 p2 p1 and, and the likes so with that same 130 sorry 150 come to this one here this is the b3 join b3 um, and a3 together b3 and a3 together i have this next up join it to c from here to c is this i have this next up measure out 60 we said from 1 to 7 is 60 because we assume that that one is 0 0.0 so this is um 60 here we have um p p what the p3 right sorry this is p3 p b4 this is p4 here this is p3 a3 a sorry a4 p4 b4 similarly a3 p3 b3 next up let's get two let's get for a2 and b2 and p2 with that same man come to a2 and cut that arc we did here as long it's cut at this point here call it that point b2 so connect b2 right p2 and a2 together similarly take it down to c c and a2 this manner after that measure out your b2 we said 70 here from 1 to 70 is 60 that becomes our p2 similarly i will continue that process move to 1 with that same 150 come to this point 1 and call that arc so at this point call this point point b1 connect b1 right connect b1 and um, a1 together i have this man similarly take it to c because c is a fixed point the pivot so i have this right i have this man here so i'll measure out 60 so 60 that is to get p1 so from here down here 60 to get p1 similarly i'll take it to o taking it down to o right even without stressing myself just measure 60 from here this is 0 to 70 here is 60 so this is my this will be what p0 so if i'm connecting it i'll likely remember this point here p0 so let's proceed come back to 6 here i'll come to 6 scroll arc this is what b6 connect b6 and a6 together to get um p6 this man here and finally join this man to this so i will measure out what the um 60 60 that is um from one year to seven sorry from one year to seven year um, is what the is p6 similarly proceeding i'll call i'll do that same thing for seven call the arc here call here b7 connecting b7 b7 and a7 together to get p7 to see so measure out 60 similarly 60 from 1 to 7 here 60 so i have p7 at this point um similarly i will take it down to 0.8 right striking an arc upwards it's caught at this point call this point b8 connecting b8 and a8 together together to form p8 don't forget extend it to c2 c is a fixed point so measure out um 60 so from 1 to 7 is 60 if i assume that 1 is 0 so this is 
P or the P8. Let's get P9, P10 to end this matter. So to get P9, um, to get um, P9, I will come to A9 and call that same man at this point here. Call it B9. Extend B9 to A9 to get P9. B9 to A9 to get P9. Don't forget to C2. I have this to C. So let's get P9. To get P9, I'll simply measure what the I'll measure 60. So here is um 0 to this point. Sorry, here is 60, which is 70 here. That becomes P9. Finally, let's get P10. P10, just take this man upward to touch this man here. So measure 60. So from here down to here, 60. That becomes P, what a P10. That's all. So I will introduce my French curve here. Starting from P0 to P10. I use my French curve to join them to get together. Right? In this manner. In this manner. So I'll have something of this nature. Right? Um proceeding. Coming. Ensure that those points are touching each other. Right? Come. Right? I have this. I have this. So this is the low cost of um, our this is the locus of that figure you are seeing at the right hand side of the screen. If you found this class helpful, do not forget to click on the subscription button and like. Thank you and welcome to WiseLink Academy.